Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today, we're going to talk about math. Yep, simple math. Matter of fact, I want you to do this problem. What is 2 plus 3? Think about it now. Don't rush yourself. And you don't even have to show your work. That's right. It's 5. Yes, okay. Now, that's simple math. Actually, we're only going to deal with simple math and percentages. No, no, that's okay. Don't get scared. It's easy percentages. But first, um, we want to talk about something called the order of operations. Now, that's the order in which you must do certain math problems. So, let's do this problem right here. Yeah, that one, you know. 2 plus 3 times 6. Okay, I'll give you a couple minutes to do it. Well, actually, not a couple minutes. A couple seconds, okay? Did you get an answer? You did. Did you get 30? You did? You did. Good. Well, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. That's wrong. Because you didn't follow the order of operations. Now, what is that? Think of this phrase. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Oh, no, I don't have an Aunt Sally, but if I did, you should excuse her. <clears throat> Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is a saying that will tell you the order of operations and how you do a problem. P, parentheses, E, exponents, so if something's like to a certain power, you do that next. M, multiplication, D, division, A, addition, and S, subtraction. Now, multiplication and division you do at the same time you know, in whatever order they appear. And addition and subtraction are the same, so you can do those in the same time, in the order they appear. But don't do them in the wrong order. So this problem, 2 plus 3 times 6, if you do it in the right way, it's not 2 plus 3, and then take that answer and multiply it by 6. It's actually 3 times 6 plus the number 2, because you have to do the operations in this right order. Well, if you do 3 times 6 plus 2, you don't get 30, do you? No, you get 20. Now, why is this important? Because when you're doing formulas in Excel, Excel knows the order of operations and will always do them. So you'll think something equals 30. Excel will say it's 20. So what are you going to do in that case? Hmm. Okay, so next... Let's do some percentages, okay? If you have two gallons of milk and you add another gallon of milk, you get three gallons of milk. Well, you knew that. But if you take 1% milk, and take a half a gallon of 1% milk and dump it into a gallon jug, you have a half of a gallon jug of 1% milk. If you add to that a half a gallon of 2% milk, so you've added 2% to 1%, so does that make it 3%? No. That makes it 1.5% because percentage is not additive. It's almost like you're subtracting when you're adding in percentages. And you probably knew that already too, but I always thought that was kind of funny. If you add 1% to 2%, you get one and a half percent. You don't get three hmm. percent. Well, make sure you remember the order of operations because it's very important. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. You have a good day.